My name is Alan Fish. Uh, I've been assigned to design my warehouse. I basically designed this after the warehouse I, I work in. Uh, we do some other functions that aren't on here, but I narrowed it down to some uh, general distribution centers that don't do exporting. Uh, so basically here we have the employee entrance kind of towards the middle of the building. Uh, equipment is right here uh, for the daily tasks they need. Also with the daily supplies, RF guns, staples, batteries, printers, uh, picking supplies. If they don't need equipment, they'll walk and generally have assigned walk paths to the areas of work they have. Uh, we'll start the process that the front office where all the, dis like the dispatching, uh, some higher up supervisors work. Then we come down here to have utility, basically, uh, st storing empty pallets, uh, tearing pallets down, cardboard down to recycle, then inbound uh, uh, lanes and docks, uh, inbound will receive them into the docks, store them in the lanes uh, according to where they go to the aisles, uh, and then they go to so the regular storage racks, they'll be staged down here, and then if they go to the wire guide aisles, they'll be staged down here close to the aisles are in. Uh, it leads us to the aisles. We'll have wire guided aisles for maximum capacity uh, of parts. Generally, these racks are single wide while storage racks are double wide. It allows for more spacing. The warehouse I work in, we had non-wire guide, we switched to a wire guide. We got 12 more aisles out of doing wire guide compared to our double wides. Mainly small parts, tur truck picks. Here will be uh, medium-sized parts and reach truck picks. The engine, the company I work for is a tractor place. They do, they put all their engines on this side because they're big. Then we have cross docking lanes and docks. Generally, inbound will receive parts from another distribution center within the company. And instead of ours, where you take it from the back of the building, they take it to all the way up to the front side of the building. So to minimize the waste of traffic. We put a cross lock next to it, therefore they can take it right there. Then you have battery and equipment staging, uh, or they have mobile equipment with order selectors, turret trucks, reach trucks, uh, tailored guns. They need battery change. It's over here, out of the way of the normal ta uh, daily tasks. Inventory office. Inventory will be over to the side. Uh, they will function on doing uh, rack audits, block audits inbound audits to maintain a sustainable and accurate inventory. Then you have quality control. I put these next to inventory because they can work side by side and help each other out along with uh, their both help with inbound uh, task on inspections and receiving in uh, correct quantities. Then you have maintenance in any kind of warehouse. You have to have maintenance because the equipment breaks down, uh, AM and PM services. Then it leads to outbound and, and uh, so, uh, packing and loading. So I'll go over here to the source cells. Generally, we have the uh, pickers in this this side and the uh, pickers in this side. They'll drop off uh, the or drop off orders go down into a, a, a conveyor source cell, and then they'll be shuffled off into a pa the pack stations. And then you have the boxes and supplies close by to the packaging uh, uh, stations. And then you have the TMS stations and the palletizing of the orders and boxes. And then they'll be shipped over here to the staging and the floor pack. If they have big parts that can't fit in the store cell, we pack over the floor. And then they'll be transferred from here to the loading docks and lanes over here and put on the according trailers. And then also we have the lunch and break room by the main entrance for when they walk in. They can put the lunches in uh, ca the cafeteria and their fridges and assigned areas. And that would be my warehouse.